गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ ट्रांस इंडिया रियल पीपल रियल इमोशंस हम सब जानते हैं कि रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री इस देश के लिए देश के हर इंडस्ट्री के लिए देश के हर घर के लिए कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है लेकिन रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री के सामने जो चैलेंजेस हैं वो दिन ब दिन बढ़ते जा रहे हैं चैलेंजेस के साथ साथ एक और चीज जो बढ़ते जा रही है वो है ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट आप डीजल के दाम ले लो टायर्स के दाम ले लो या टोल टैक्स ये बढ़ते जा रहे हैं कंटिन्यूसली एक चीज तो तय है लेकिन की रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री का फ्यूचर डिस्पाइट ऑल दीज चैलेंजेस एंड राइज इन ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट इज गोट बी वेरी ब्राइट लेकिन जो ट्रांसपोर्टर्स और ट्रकर्स है इनके फ्यूचर पे एक बहुत बड़ा क्वेश्चन मार्क है सम ऑफ देम विल फ्लरिश सम ऑफ देम विल सर्वाइव एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली सम ऑफ देम विल ऑल्सो पेरिश गवर्नमेंट बार बार कहते रहती है कि हमें लॉजिस्टिक्स कॉस्ट कम करना है लेकिन ये कैसे मुमकिन है जब आपका बेसिक इनपुट टू द ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री जो है डीजल वो ही खुद इतना महंगा है उस पर इतने टैक्सेस है नोट ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री की एक जो सबसे बड़ी चैलेंज है वो राइजिंग कॉस्ट नहीं है बट उनकी चैलेंज है कि हम इस राइजिंग कॉस्ट को कस्टमर्स पे कैसे पास ऑन करें रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री ज्यादातर एक सप्लाई डिमांड के चक्रव्यू में फंसी हुई है जो ट्रकर्स हैं स्पेशली वो सप्लाई डिमांड थ्योरी पर ही डिपेंड करते हैं अपना फेट रेट फिक्स करने के लिए ट्रांसपोर्टर्स ऑन द अदर हैंड दे हैव द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद द कस्टमर्स लेकिन बहुत ही ताजुब की बात है कि कई कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स में डीजल क्लॉज है ही नहीं या अगर है तो ये है कि अगर डीजल के दाम कम होंगे तो फ्रेट रेट्स कम किए जाएंगे लेकिन अगर डीजल के दाम बढ़ जाते हैं ये कहीं मेंशन किया हुआ नहीं ये बात खुद हमें ट्रांसपोर्टर्स ने बताई है लेकिन इसके बावजूद ट्रांसपोर्टर्स ब्लाइंडली कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइन करके आ जाते हैं लेकिन दोस्तों एक मुद्दा और है जो ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री स्पेशली जो ट्रकर्स है उन्हें परेशान करता है वॉट इज दिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ अ ट्रक ये कैलकुलेशन शायद बहुत ही कम लोगों को पता होगी कि एक ट्रक का ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट क्या है और अब जबकि डीजल प्राइजेस रोज बदल रहे हैं तो आप जब तक अपनी जर्नी कंप्लीट नहीं करते हैं आप उस जर्नी का ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट नहीं निकाल पाते हैं ऐसे हालात में दोस्तों जरूरत है एक इंडेक्स की एक फ्रेट इंडेक्स की जो एक इंडिकेशन दे कि ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट किस तरफ जा रहे हैं किस परसेंटेज से बड़े या घटे हैं इंडियन रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी जिसके प्रेसिडेंट अब श्री महेंद्र आर्य जी है उन्होंने कई साल पहले एक कैरेज बाय रोड कॉस्ट इंडेक्स निकाला था जिसे सीआरआई कहते हैं ये एक इंडिकेशन देता था कि जो आपका ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट है वो बढ़ रहा है या घट रहा है बहुत से पैरामीटर्स थे इसमें ट्रक के दामों को लेकर इंश्योरेंस टोल टैक्स सारे खर्च मिलाकर एक इंडेक्स निकाला गया था आज से दो साल पहले रिविगो ने भी एक नेशनल फ्रेट इंडेक्स निकाला था जो एक इंडिकेशन देता था कि डेली बेसिस पर अलग रूट्स पर फ्रेट रेट्स किस तरफ जा रहे हैं आज के एपिसोड में हम आपको बताएंगे आई के बारे में नेशनल फ्रेट इंडेक्स के बारे में हम बात करेंगे श्री महेंद्र आर्य जी से और साथ ही साथ आपको ट्रक सेल्स के फिगर्स भी देंगे इस छोटे से ब्रेक के बाद देखते रहिए ट्रांस इंडिया रियल पीपल रियल इमोशंस महेंद्रा ये गारंटी देते हैं कि उनका ब्लेजो एक सबसे ज्यादा माइलेज देता है वरना कर दीजिए ट्रक कर? वापस सॉरी अजय महिंद्रा फ्यूरियो है एक्शन महिंद्रा गारंटी देते हैं कि उनका फ्यूरियो सबसे ज्यादा माइलेज देता है कर? नहीं तो एक्चुअली जयो महिंद्रा जयो है थोड़ा चेंज है एंड एक्शन महिंद्रा ये गारंटी देते हैं की उनका जियो सबसे चल क्या रहा है यहाँ पे मैम ये चारो ट्रक ज्यादा माइलेज देते हैं चारो तो ऐसा बोलो ना ब्लेजो एक्स फ्यूरियो फ्यूरियो सेवन और जयो महिंद्रा के ये सभी ट्रक्स देते हैं सबसे ज्यादा माइलेज की गारंटी नहीं तो कर दीजिए इन्हें वापस महिंद्रा देश की सबसे ज्यादा माइलेज देने वाली ट्रक रेंज देर आर द्राइव इंडिया फॉरवर्ड नो मैटर द रोड ब्लॉक्स दे गो दस्ट्रा माइल बाई टेकिंग द रोड लेस ट्रेवल कॉन्टिनेंटल टायर्स प्रेजेंट टीवी नाइन नेटवर्क leaders of road transport awards inviting nominations from transporters bus fleet operators and car rental companies log in to www.tv9awards.com to submit your nominations now welcome back friends to trans india real people real emotions the indian road transport and development authority is a very old organization dating back to 1929 which was involved in a lot of research work for the development of road transport and automobiles irtda 
has been a special invitee on various committees and groups that have been involved with the above segments. IRTDA had many prominent personalities from the industry on its committee, some of them being Dr. P.G. Patankar and Mr. Bharat Sanghi of automotive manufacturers. However, IRTDA was almost non-operational for some time since there was no one willing to lead the organization. We all know that the association is going to be active until its members are active. IRTDA for some reason डिफंक्ट हो चुका था कुछ एक्टिविटी नहीं थी लेकिन कुछ साल पहले महेंद्र आर्य जी जो बॉम्बे गुड्स ट्रांसफर एसोसिएशन के प्रेसिडेंट रह चुके हैं जो आइटवा के प्रेसिडेंट रह चुके हैं उन्होंने डिसाइड किया कि वो आईआरटीडीए को रिवाइव करेंगे और उसमें रिसर्च वर्क करेंगे दोस्तों रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री की आज सबसे बड़ी खामी ये है कि यहाँ पर रिसर्च नहीं है हम अपने काम में बिजी हैं एसोसिएशन अपने काम में बिजी हैं बट नो बड़ी थिंग्स अबाउट रिसर्च हैरानी की बात है कि इतने सालों बाद भी रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री पे कोई वाइट पेपर नहीं है जो बता सके कि इंडस्ट्री का फ्यूचर इस तरह शेप किया जा सकता है या ये प्रॉब्लम्स हैं दोस्तों महेंद्र आर्य जी की एक बहुत खास बात है कि उन्हें यंगस्टर्स के साथ काम करने को बहुत ही मजा आता है उसका एक कारण ये भी है कि जो यंगस्टर्स हैं वो ज्यादा पॉलिटिक्स में इन्वॉल्व नहीं होते हैं दे वर्क फॉर द एसोसिएशन दे वर्क फॉर द इंडस्ट्री एंड दे आर वेल क्वालिफाइड फॉर दैट महेंद्र जी ने जब आई आर टी डी ए को लीड किया उन्होंने एक यंगस्टर्स का ग्रुप बनाया एंड दे स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन द कैरेज बाय रोड कॉस्ट इंडेक्स जैसे मैंने कहा रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री की एक सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम ये है कि हमें ट्रक का ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट ही पता नहीं है हम फ्रेट में सप्लाई डिमांड छरी पर फिक्स कर देते हैं और साल के अंत में या शायद तीन साल बाद हमें पता चलता है कि हम इतने सालों से नुकसान में काम कर रहे हैं and by the time it's too late friends one of the biggest achievements of irtda has been the carriage by road cost index this was a true indicator of the operating cost index for the industry and irtda used to update this on a monthly basis taking into account a lot of parameters but once again since the pandemic the activities of irtda took a back seat but last week mr mahendra arya decided to revive irtda once again and we were privileged to be part of that meeting it was so heartening to see youngsters be in the boardroom discuss whole lot of things we discussed the price of fuel we discussed the operating cost of a truck we discussed contract it was surprising that transporters openly admitted that they did a lot of glaring mistakes in their contract they overlooked a lot of things which ideally they should have looked into but the positive side is it was a learning for others in the room IRTDA is once again working on the CRI and hopefully we should see that very soon friends after the meeting we had the privilege of talking to mr mahendra arya and knowing more about IRTDA's glorious past and the future plans here's our interview with mr arya after the IRTDA meeting Mahendraji, can you tell us a little bit about IRTDA and its glorious past? Okay, IRTDA, the name is Indian Road Transport Development Association. This is, I think, the oldest association which is connected to the road transport. It, it was started in 1929 by all English gentlemen during the English regime, and the objective of this association was to work. on the road network in india at that time there was one mr jaiker a member of this association he made a plan for the roads of india and submitted to the english regime and that was worked upon and subsequently roads were made so that is known as jaiker committee so that is the history and after that one one after another english people the english gentlemen Uh, before independence they were the president or different office bearers after independence gradually the indians came into this and uh, people from different walks of logistics not just the transport companies but transporters the insurance company the oems the truck manufacturers the tire manufacturers all kinds of people were on the board of this and all reputed people were there my predecessor was uh, mr patankar he was the president of this association and he was uh, one of the directors of tata consultancy and then automotives bharat bhai sangvi 
and so many lot of people, Captain Devekar, all these people were on the board when I joined this. What was the state of IRTDA when you decided to lead and revise the body? Unfortunately, there was not too much of activity left in the association because everybody was getting old and new people had not entered into that. So we got an opportunity uh, as we got invitations that few of my friends from transport fraternity, we got the calls and we entered into the managing committee. And gradually when all the older people, they moved out, we remained there. So we are running the show now of IRTDA. What have been the activities of IRTDA since you took over? Yeah, see, we didn't want to have one more association just to do whatever the other associations are doing. So we don't call uh, this even an association also. We call it a research institute, a research body. See, we discuss the uh, new things which is happening in the transport trade, the new kinds of fuel, the alternate fuel, and uh, you know, IRTD had worked on a cost index, which was very f uh, popular also, uh, CRI. So we managed that for about three to four years, uh, but th that uh, went into uh, you know oblivion because of uh, many changes, and later on because of Corona, etc. And today we had a meeting in which we have decided to again restart this CRI. CRI will give a picture of the increase in the operational cost of a truck. That is one. Apart from that, we are doing uh, meetings regularly of the like-minded people who are the members and we discuss the prevailing issues, current problems. And we uh, approach the government in a different manner because we are enlisted, registered with most of the government departments being such an old association. And when, for example, in the Indian Standards, Bureau of Indian Standards, we are listed. So our members are there in the committee of Bureau of Indian Standards and who are representing IRTDA. Similarly, many other uh, such bodies. So basically, it's an academic exercise place where we discuss things and uh, no activism. And if something is to be advised, then we advise to the association which is concerned, say in Bombay, BGTA or at national level, level ATWA, we advise them to take actions, whatever is appropriate. So that's what this is doing. Mahindraji, I have been seeing you for a long time, even when while you were president of Bombay Goods Transport Association, you involved a lot of youngsters. Same was with ITWA. And now in IRTD also, I was surprised to see the boardroom full of youngsters, barring I think just two or three of you. What has been the role of these youngsters and how do you see them taking IRTD ahead? Only the youngsters can shape this up. Because see, they are educated in the modern world. They have got new ideas. Uh, many of them have got degrees in logistics from India or abroad. So they, they bring in their thoughts on the table and then they contribute. So I think together, experience and the ideas, we together work out on a lot of things. And uh, even today's meeting, we had a successful discussion. We are working on so many things. And uh, uh, with time, everything will unfold. Mahindraji, the recent rise in diesel prices has been a dampener for the industry on the whole. Uh, transporters and even truckers are still, you know, figuring out how to get around it. As a transporter, how are you dealing with this? See, we have to accept the rise in the diesel cost as a reality. It's not something which has to be fought. Because fighting diesel means fighting with the government, which you cannot. And government is very candid about this. So the government is running on the diesel taxation. So when the, this is the reality, then we accept the reality. The, the alternate to this is that we work out our approach to the customer. How do we approach? How should we draft our contracts? How should we demand that? Customers also are educated now. They re read the newspaper, they understand. It's a matter of proper negotiation. And then uh, that effect definitely comes in. Then there are alternate fuels which are coming up and which are available now. In today's meeting, a lot of people confirm that they are using CNG on the highways, which was actually a news for me because I don't run my own vehicle, so for it was a news. If CNG is available throughout the highways, I think this is a good substitute of diesel 
which is there and there are a lot many things which are happening so uh, with time i think there will be solutions also and uh, diesel is not something to be you know craving about all the time diesel is something which has to be solved by us so we are about to solve it so will the cri help transporters in negotiating better with their customers is that the plan yes because if cri becomes uh, available to the customers also and to the transporters also and we want it to be a neutral uh, index it should not look like a transport company is made uh, so we want uh, some somebody to authenticate it maybe government we have been trying with the government in the past also we have given them many presentations so if government government should take it up as a tool of indicator of the <coughs> cost of operation versus cost of diesel so if some other agency somebody suggested crisil is doing it so well crisil can do nothing like it they are a acceptable uh, body so i think when both sides of the table they understand the actual change in the cost of operation the negotiation will be rather easier well friends that was mr mahendra arya and the cri now let us take a look at what rivigo is doing Rivigo, which has taken giant strides to transform the industry, has often been seen as a stiff competitor, and the mention of the name Rivigo often irritates many transporters. But having said that, we cannot ignore the good work that the company has done, which is also being replicated by many transporters. Earlier this week, Rivigo relaunched the National Freight Index to bring pricing transparency in freight rates for the progress of the sector. Rivigo has relaunched the National Freight Index after more than two years. to publish daily rates for container trucks which will ensure transparency in the road freight marketplace the national freight index which is completely tech driven will serve the objective of providing easy access to daily freight prices for truck owners transporters and other stakeholders in the sector and further establish trust and transparency in this highly fragmented logistics and supply chain market national freight index is an open source data portal based on a proprietary algorithm that collects inputs from multiple data sources to give out the most accurate daily rates commenting on this development mr deepak garg ceo and founder of rivigo said we are very optimistic about creating a platform for fleet owners and transporters which will enable the growth of the logistics sector currently we are at a stage where the growth of the economy is creating a balance between the supply and demand in the market which will confidently lead to sustainable freight pricing and profitability for small fleet owners and road freight operations by reintroducing a national freight index we want to empower small freight owners transporters advisors consultants and the market at large which relies on this data actively going forward we plan to launch a national freight forum a collaborative platform for stakeholders of the logistics industry by introducing such platforms rivigo aims to uplift the industry with technology digital tools and other supportive services that will bring trust and transparency in the sector so while you may hate rivigo you cannot ignore the good work that the company is doing and friends here is a little bit of insights that rivigo has gathered through nfi from january 2022 onwards which reveals a 4 to 5% increase in april 2022 freight rates as compared to january 2022 on the back of rising input cost of fuel toll and commercial vehicles while a dip was observed in freight rates x north owing to supply accumulation a surge was noticed in south freight prices which was higher than input cost increases to counter the observed price dip in north on return loads x south and west well friends it seems finally the industry will have some indicators on the operating cost through the national freight index and the carriage by road cost index but eventually it is up to the transporters and truckers to make sure that the demand freight that not only compensates their operating costs but also gives them a decent profit for their efforts i remember a very senior transporter years ago telling me that when we calculate the operating cost we include a lot of factors maybe diesel prices maybe toll tax tires insurance driver salary and and many other factors lekin kya kabhi transporter ne apni mehnat apne efforts को इंक्लूड किया है उस ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट में ट्रांसपोर्टर्स और ट्रकर्स का हिसाब यही है कि जो बच गया वो हमारा देर इज नो मैथ टू इट बट नेवर दस इट इज वेरी एनकरेजिंग कि इतने प्रॉब्लम्स के बावजूद रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री देश के हर कोने तक पहुंच रही है ये इंडस्ट्री ग्रो रही है हमने बार बार कहा है कि 
ای وی بل کا جو ڈیٹا ہے وہ بڑھتا جا رہا ہے ٹول ٹیکس کلیکشنز بڑھتے جا رہے ہیں اینڈ ساتھ ہی ساتھ ٹرک سیلس بھی بڑھتے جا رہے ہیں پچھلے مہینے سارے مینوفیکچررز نے اپنے وہیکل کے پرائزز بڑھا دیے بٹ دیٹ ڈڈ ناٹ ڈیمپ ان دا سیل آف ٹرکس سو فرینڈس لیٹ اس سی واٹ ہیز دا سیلس فگرز آف میجر ٹرک مینوفیکچررز بین لاسٹ منتھ دوسو ٹاٹا موٹرز وچ از انڈیاز لیڈنگ ٹرک مینوفیکچرر رجسٹر ٹوٹل سیلس آف سیونٹی ٹو تھاؤزینڈ فور سکسٹی ایٹ یونٹس ان ایپریل ٹوینٹی ٹو گروئنگ بائی سیونٹی فور پرسینٹ اوور ایپریل لاسٹ ایئر ان دا ایم این ایچ سی بی سیگمنٹ ٹاٹا موٹرز سولڈ ایٹ تھاؤزینڈ فور ہنڈریڈ ایٹی نائن ویکلس سیونٹی سکس پرسینٹ ہائر دین لاسٹ ایپریل دا آئی این ایل سی بی سیگمنٹ گروتھ آف ہنڈریڈ ٹوینٹی سکس پرسینٹ وتھ سیلس آف فور تھاؤزینڈ فائیو ہنڈریڈ فورٹی تھری ویکلس دا ایس سی وی کار گوئن پک اپ سیگمنٹ آلسو ریکارڈ اے گروتھ آف ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ٹویلو پرسینٹ سیلنگ فورٹین تھاؤزینڈ سیون ہنڈریڈ الیون ویکلس ان ایپریل ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی ٹو اوور آل دا کمرشیل ویکل سیگمنٹ گروتھ آف ہنڈریڈ اینڈ نائن پرسینٹ وتھ موٹر سیلنگ ٹوینٹی نائن تھاؤزینڈ ایٹ ایٹی ویکلس ان As compared to 14,306 vehicles in April 21. Ashok Leyland also reported encouraging figures in April. In the MNHCV truck segment, the company sold 6,805 vehicles, a growth of 83% over last year. In the LCV and bus segment, however, the company recorded a growth of 4% and 3% respectively. Overall, Ashok Leyland sold 11,197 vehicles in April 22, 41% higher than last April. The commercial vehicles also grew by 157% with the company selling 5525 vehicles in April 22 as compared to 2145 units in April 21 this includes 5416 units of Aisher brand and 109 units of the Volvo brand Mahindra and Mahindra sold 45460 vehicles in April 22 across various segments the company sold 22168 utility vehicles which made up for the largest chunk of sales in the commercial vehicle segment Mahindra and Mahindra sold 2929 vehicles in the less than 2 ton segment 13768 vehicles in the 2 to 3.5 ton segment and 305 vehicles in the 3.5 ton and HCV segment Well friends that was the sales figures of major OEMs and it is very clear that the industry is growing vehicle sales are growing and goods have to reach across India and by trucks it's time for a sh- very short break friends but after this break we'll tell you more about Aitwa's meeting with Mr Kiran Rijuju who is the honorable minister for law and justice so stay tuned and keep watching Trans India real people Real emotions. Mahindra ye guarantee dete hain ki unka Blazo X sabse zyada mileage deta hai warna kar dijiye truck Cut. wapas. Sorry Ajay, Mahindra Furio hai. Action. Mahindra guarantee dete hain ki unka Furio sabse zyada mileage deta hai. Nahi to actually Jayo, Mahindra Jayo hai. Thoda change hai and action. Mahindra ye guarantee dete hain ki unka Jayo sabse Cut. chal kya raha hai yahan pe. Ma'am, ye charo truck zyada mileage dete hain. Charo तो ऐसा बोलो ना ब्लेजो एक्स फ्यूरियो फ्यूरियो सेवन और जय महेंद्र के ये सभी ट्रक्स देते हैं सबसे ज्यादा माइलेज की गारंटी नहीं तो कर दीजिए इन्हें वापस महेंद्र देश की सबसे ज्यादा माइलेज देने वाली ट्रक रेंज देर आर दाइव इंडिया फॉरवर्ड नो मैटर द रोड ब्लॉक दे गो दस्ट्रा माइल बाई टेकिंग द रोड लेस ट्रेवल कॉन्टिनेंटल टायर्स प्रेजेंट टीवी नाइन नेटवर्क Leaders of Road Transport Awards inviting nominations from transporters bus fleet operators and car rental companies log in to www.tv9awards.com to submit your nominations now Welcome back friends to Trans India real people real emotions team Aitwa which is all India transporters welfare association met Mr Kiran Rijuju who is the honorable minister for law and justice to highlight the key issues faced by truckers in the country major points discussed during the meeting were robbery and loot on highways the delay in response to action and other procedural delays in case driver carries contraband without knowledge of the owner the vehicle and goods are stuck for a long time while the culprit gets bail how can the driver and the owner of the vehicle get some reprieve If a vehicle commits any offense in another state, surety is asked from the local state, which is difficult to get, 
as the owner may or may not know anybody. In case of national permit vehicles, there should be another alternative, suggested Aitwa. Mr. Rijuju patiently heard the practical difficulties of the transporters and assured to support them and resolve the issues. Team Aitwa was represented by Mr. Ramesh Agarwal, who is the incoming president, Mr. Pradeep Singhal, who is the chairman, Mr. Puneet Agarwal, the incoming executive president, Ms. Ashok Gupta, senior vice president, and other members of the National Council of ITWA. Meanwhile, friends, some news from EIMTC. While the association is busy with its election process, East Zone Vice President Mr. Ravi Satpati recently met office bearers and members of Ganjam Truck Owners Association to discuss issues faced by the trucks in Ganjam. The office bearers of Ganjam Truck Owners Association Mr. Ranjit Kumar Panda, Mr. Kali Charna Swain and Mr. Subhash Chandra Panda briefed Mr. Satpati on the issues that the truckers were facing in the district. After long deliberations, it was decided that a delegation shall meet the collector and update him on these issues and seek solutions for the same. We have been saying time and again, friends, associations have to meet. It is very important regularly meet discuss kare. Chai solutions nikle ya na nikle, wo secondary cheese hai. Lekin members ke saath ek connect banai rakhna bhoot zaruri hai. Meanwhile friends, another segment that road transport industry supports is the port segment. Port pe jitne bhi ships aate hai, unme jo containers pochte hai, ya waan se jo containers nikal ke destination tak pochte hai, ye road transport ke zariye hi hota hai. First mile, last mile, you cannot Dismiss the efforts of road transport. You cannot substitute road transport. But एक ऐसा port है जो बहुत बेहतरीन काम कर रहा है और काफी growth report कर रहा है. Jawaharlal Nehru Port Authority or JNPA as it is called has been rated as the best performing port in India as per the latest report on logistics performance index. JNPA's index value is the highest. That is 84.61 and is at the top of the list among the major ports of India. The top 5 computed based on the index value are JNPA at 84.61, Mundra at 84.16, Tipav at 81.52, Delhi Airport at 81.27 and Kakinada at 77.22. The performance ranking is conducted based on the 11 parameters common for all major ports in the country. Friends, one more problem the road transport industry ki hai, wo hai toll tax. Or rather, the toll pay the delays. Hote hai. However, the National Highways Authority of India has made live traffic movement at 214 toll plazas public by hosting the web link on its site. Officials said in the next few days this number will increase to 407, and subsequently, all 700 toll plazas will go live. A senior NHEI official said the objective is to give information to people which they can see and flag issues that they face. Similarly, as our officers and the toll operators can also see the real-time traffic flow at toll plazas, they can take quick action in case there is congestion or vehicle pile-up. The official also said that this will enable the agency to verify every complaint quickly and take corrective steps. Well, friends, that's it from the Trans India News Desk this week. We can assure each one of you that the road transport industry has a great future ahead. Only we need to find ways and means to counter the challenges and brave the rough weather whenever it comes. Friends, in the next week's episode, we will bring two such solutions to you which can change the change of this industry. We all know how to treat truck drivers on the highway. Officials look at trucks like an ATM, where they show their hands, the driver shows their hands, the driver shows their hands, and then they show their hands. But these scenarios are imagined that in every driver's hands, they show their hands. दोस्तों ये सिनेरियो इमेजिन कीजिए कि हर ड्राइवर के पीछे एक लॉयर खड़ा हो जो उस अफसर से बात करे रूल्स रेगुलेशंस बताए उसे ऐसी एक सर्विस इंडिया में चालू हुई है दोस्तों हमारे साथ जो डेटा शेयर किया गया है उसके हिसाब से पिछले छः महीनों में 20,000 ट्रक्स ने इस सर्विस का लाभ उठाया है और कलेक्टिव सेविंग्स पेनल्टीज के तौर पर पचास लाख के करीब है दोस्तों इमेजिन कीजिए हर ड्राइवर के साथ अगर एक लॉयर खड़ा हो एक कॉल सेंटर के जरिए जो उसकी मदद करने को तैयार हो जो उस अफसर से बात करने को तैयार हो इट कैन मेक अ यूज डिफरेंस इट कैन गिव द ट्रक ड्राइवर द कॉन्फिडेंस 
दैट आई एम नॉट अलोन ऑन द हाईवेज दूसरा मुद्दा दोस्तों जो कई सालों से चला आ रहा है शायद जब से रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री शुरू हुई थी तब से वो है डीजल की चोरी कई लोगों को ब्लेम किया जाता है इसके लिए ट्रांसपोर्टर्स और ट्रक ओनर्स हमेशा से परेशान रहे हैं कि डीजल के चोरी को कैसे रोका जाए या एटलीस्ट उसे कैसे रिकॉर्ड किया जाए बट द फैक्ट इज दैट देर इज नो वे टू रिकॉर्ड दिस एक ट्रांसपोर्टर या एक ट्रक ओनर जो हजारों किलोमीटर दूर बैठा है उसे पता भी नहीं चल रहा होता है कि इसके ट्रक में डीजल डाला या निकाला जा रहा है लेकिन एक ऐसी कंपनी है जो अब लाइव फ्यूल डेटा दे रही है आपको सो फ्रेंड्स टू बिग सोल्यूशन फॉर द रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री कमिंग अप इन नेक्स्ट वीक्स एपिसोड सो डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड वॉच नेक्स्ट संडेज एपिसोड फॉर दीज सोल्यूशन अंटिल नेक्स्ट वीक स्टे सेफ जय हिंद